photographers from the industry from the media i call you all family because gurpreet ji you were right when you said we have grown together for 20 plus years we went to, he he counted decades a couple of years decades 20 is a little more than that <laughs> this is proof of that and uh, so many memories as you were speaking as i look at all the faces the silent smiles that we exchange um it's just it's our lives which have been intertwined together for so many years memories events occasions milestones um uh, life experiences yes you you've been a part of it all actually uh quietly recording it um patiently waiting for the moment as you rightly pointed out um sometimes impatiently making sure you get it <laughs> but that is our life that is our life together intertwined and um that's us we are in us at the end of the day you know it we know it 
and that's the way we lead our lives every waking day and um, I think the proof of the camaraderie and the bonhomie is right here at moments like this irrespective of whatever the occasion in our silent smiles we communicate so much in our namaskars, in our hellos, as we shake hands through the eyes. If you know something has happened the other day, there's a bit of a trip, a fall, a push, a nudge. Um, it's mutual. We, we know what goes with the turf. Every, every person, girl, boy, man, woman, who stepped into being a part of the limelight, showbiz, being seen, uh, has known what goes with the turf. Every one of you who chose this as your lifeline, as a career, as a hobby, as a passion, has known what goes with it off. And yet here we are and we coexist as a family. And um, it's evenings such as this when you're here with your families where um, it, it reiterates the kind of warmth that we mutually share with each other so sweetly underlined. when. When you know, yes, I completely understand Marathi and I wouldn't dare speak in it because I wouldn't want to make any errors and I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, um, you know, play with sentiments. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to make any error in the language, but I completely understood you, Sajjadeh. And um, thank you. Thank you all for your warmth. All of you, how sweetly you all have brought, uh, you all know I'm a foodie, <laughs> over the years. And you all have brought sweet homemade uh, Modaks, yes, poor and poly, sagla maithiya mala, sangit le, khalti. And they have promised that if I don't sit there and eat kind of a little, nice little goodie bag is going with me on a lovely drive back, very long drive back, uh, thanks to Mumbai traffic, all the way back home. So, I am co quite sorted for the evening, but that's us, that's, that's being Indian, that's being Mumbai cars, that's being homely, that's being familial. I think that's the larger point. And... Um, I'm very, very touched. So, thank you. Uh, being welcome today. Sunilia, where, where are you? you? You made sure. Oh, it's lovely how he did it, I must tell you. So, I was at an occasion uh, that um, annually now I'm, I, I celebrate on my father's birthday for Smile Train. And after clicking pictures, I was very sweet. He just stood up and uh, I, I want to know who is the guy next to him. When he asked me, he said, you'll, you'll come for this? I said, yeah, sure. And after saying yes, when I looked to his left, there was this guy with a phone. And I was like, what are you doing? record are you doing? confirmation now. <laughs> so I was like, amazing. That was just so insightful and how instant. But luckily, I'd already said yes. And um, I'm more than happy to be here. And when um, I, I was coming here today, I realized Abhishek has been here. He left this morning on his outdoor. Someone at the airport might already have caught him. He have nodded. Yes. So <laughs> he has left on an outdoor today. And as I looked in your direction. And so we talked about it. And he said he's been here before. And uh, he did share with me of, of how wonderful this evening is, how you all have such a good time with your family. And it's so nice that there is a place like the Mumbai Press Club. And um, um, I'm very warm to hear that it is, and the, the way it has grown. I mean, just when you shared that, uh, that experience, that journey, um, it's so heartwarming, I'm sure has been challenging. But you, you shared it so positively, good PG. It's just so, so nice to just put it casually. And, and, you, and, you, and you're bringing in the essence, the spirit, when, when you refer to your Karam days. And um, that just goes to show of how much of um, a, a, a journey of teamwork this has been. And yet, you're right when you say that today, this art form needs... Um, need so much more appreciation and encouragement so in in this day and age uh, the art form of photography when celebrated with the release of an annual calendar like this um, it's it's respectful it's us doffing our hat off at uh, at this art form which is meeting its challenges with technology doing what it is today and everybody um, believing that they already have a knack for photography 
and yet today it made me smile when I see some of juniors here, some of the kids picking up their, whether it's a father, uncle, whoever's professional camera. I've tried to give you uh, proper smiles in between while you're trying to kind of sneak in. Because it's just so sweet how encouraged and how respectful they are of the equipment and are not just um, tossing out their phone, which definitely has a camera. And that could so easily be, uh, it's lighter on the hand and yet these little boys here, these little kids and some of the sisters slash wives slash, slash nieces have been picking up the professional camera as well and, and trying to take and take a couple of pictures of us, me here on stage. And truly, God bless. I wish you all all the very, very, very best because you're respecting the kala, the creativity of your family, of your elders. And, um, and that's again uh, an insight into who we are as a people and how we pass on um, and how we educate. Educate is not only bookish, education is also how we pass on and we share and we respect um, what is ours and what we know. And um, it's reflected also today in a lot of the photographs that I saw. I don't even know why I took this from you because I'm not reading a thing. So um, I'm just going to continue speaking from the heart. The photographs that we saw today are um, are amazing. They're, they're, they're just, uh, I mean, year after year, I can only begin to imagine the kind of collection that has grown over the past 17 to 18 years, if it's from 2000. So, uh, but the ones today too reflects the the dichotomy, the vibrancy, the extremes of our city of dreams, you know, uh, everything that we experience, uh, it's, it's slice of life. Like we know it, that, that we, we believe we are seeing every day and yet probably do not um, stop to exhale and actually take it all in. And when you're capturing it and letting us all um, reflect at this artwork, photography, um, it definitely needs a lot more exhibition, appreciation and viewing and um, I guess while technology is challenging um, uh, and bringing in, um, dare I say, a lot of competition into this space, I think uh, we need to possibly, because there is a cure, I was just talking to Palashi and saying, what could possibly be the, uh, because this is the call of the day. I mean, this is what, this is the world we're living in, we're going to continue. But possibly you can look at ways to embrace the, the potential of technology to, to further the reach of, uh, of visibility of your creativity. Possib possibly that, that can be uh, viewed as a plus. And, um, you know, in a split second, you can have millions viewing your creativity. And those who appreciate art will appreciate art. It's just up to uh, the viewer, uh, the appreciating uh, consumer, or just people at large who, 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 who stop for a second in life and appreciate your creativity. So I will reiterate that while uh, I can imagine how challenging this was for Palaji and the other two jury members who I never want to be on jury of things because it's just so tough and as he rightly put it, how could he choose amongst his own, amongst his own as in he knows what his fellow photographers go through to capture that moment and wherein, when you're an artist you have the capability to appreciate the, cap the, the talent of other artists. So how do you break it down? How do you bring it down to just 13, 12 or 13? It's impossible, but they have done it. And uh, while we applaud the 13 that we have celebrated this evening, we continue to applaud the continued interest in photography as an art form by all of you and all those out there uh, who are watching, who are listening, who are celebrating. Uh, their friends, their gurus, their relatives uh, here and um, thank you so much for inviting me today. It's been my pleasure to celebrate with you, to share with you, to applaud you and um, to congratulate each and every one of you and a special thank you also to the photographers I know and have known over the years uh, for being a part of my life 
for making every event eventful, <laughs> memorable. And uh, yeah, we have shared each other's lives. I smile at all of you. You all have your code words. Sir, up to Hamesha, one special madam he would say. So anywhere in the crowd, the way he'd say it, he knows I would look at him. Uh, you would always loom tall and you'd be there above everybody. There are just, everyone has this one special word. You, we have known, you have known for years. It's just, um, you all make me smile and uh, so you'll get it real. <laughs> and thank you for having um, us share our lives. You've been part of all my personal moments in my life as well. So thank you and um, all the positivity is mutual. Have a great year ahead and have a blessed life ahead. Thank you. Namaskar. Thanks.